Patch 12.4 review. Let's see what's up. It's a pretty darn ass big patch, looks like. Yeah, it's a pretty big patch. So first thing is the new champion. Seems a bit interesting. Can do some interesting things with her ultimate. <laughs> so Atrox got buffed, that's pretty nice. Like you have 10% increased damage on the sweet spot area. I think that's really big for Atrox, honestly, especially that now with this itemization, I think it's much better for him as well. So we might see some Atrox gaming. Physical damage reduction, the flat one is increased. Uh, yeah, so last patch he basically got nerfed, like uh, he could no, not block like full damage. It, the cap was made from 100 to 50, so this is above to compensate. It doesn't really matter, honestly, for most divisions, but for Wo Wei, Wo Moom is always like a broken champ anyway, so yeah. Ash, missile, missile speed uh, per second of travel time. So basically, the more the arrow travels, the faster it becomes. It's a buff for Ash. Blitzcrank health regen is down. I don't know why it's like one health regen, not that it changes too much. Dr. Mundo AD growth down. It's a nerf, right? Or is it a buff? Yeah, it's a nerf actually. They're nerfing Mundo, I don't know. I didn't see any Mundo. Okay, that's kind of nothing as well. I mean, who cares about those useless champs anyway, right? Uh, Ilawi attack speed is up, which is nice because uh, she has like one of the lowest and it's so bad to play her with this. For the one tricks, I guess it makes a difference. And also now we have higher scaling on the W. So yeah, basically no one was playing this champ anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna be played anyway, but it's good for one tricks. Kalista 3 armor, which is pretty huge. Like, 3 armor for Kalista is insane, by the way. Like, this is all in champ on bot lane, so... Like, if you have this on Kalista, I think it's completely playable now. I think Kalista can actually be a, a viable champ. It's also played in Elski a bit like... Uh, Katie Rosser is spamming it, so I think it's can, it can be a good champ now, actually like a really good one. Lucian got a slight buff, it's kind of nothing, but can be like 10 mana at max rank, so I mean, who knows, can help, right? Uh, Nami also got reverted her nerf from last patch, which means like Lucian Nami can now be a thing again. I think uh, it's gonna be much stronger. I, I would like to see some Nami actually like this champ a lot. So I think this is really nice. I, I think Nami should be pretty strong now. Uh, base stats, gameplay, hitbox radius is reduced a bit. Additional bloom damage is increased by 5 per level, 20 at max. W is reduced by 4 seconds. Wow, that's actually so huge. This is spell you, spell you max the last as well, so that's pretty big, honestly. Wow, that's insane, actually. I think that's a really good buff for Nico if uh, she's playable, I think, uh, I'm not sure, like, usually it's one trick champ as well, so it doesn't make a big difference to the game. No, no, nerf, uh, healing from champions is down. Yeah, I think that should have been nerfed a long time ago. I'm CBA, like, getting killed at uh, 1k HP by no kill legit, it's like, cringe as fuck. Kiana, the Empress, continues to be too pressing highly as a place, so this her AD on her passive to curb her wave clear and snowball potential. Additional physical damage on passive reduced from the base is the same, it's just from 55 bonus AD to 45 bonus AD, which is 10% bonus AD. I mean, can be 20 damage at 100 bonus AD, kind of, so because you do like two rotations with passive. So it can be a thing. I don't think it's gonna drop her win rate a lot, maybe like 0.5 or something, but we'll see. I think Kian is still gonna be very really strong. Rumble ner buff is super huge. Sadly, he cannot be played jungle, I think, due to the like previous nerves that they did to like the overheat. Thingy. But if it's playable for sure, I'm gonna try to play it in Django. This is so huge, like five armor is just insane. Set health growth is in increased a bit, uh, not not too big, but not too small as well. Uh, set can be playable for top with Hellbreaker, especially like it's a champ that can build it. So base armor on Vega is uh, down by two. Armor growth is increased a bit, uh, and also. Your catch is reduced by two seconds flat. This is a spell you max the last, right? So it's uh, it's an impact. I think this doesn't really matter too much, but this is an impact for sure. It's not too big though. Critical strike chance damage multiplier reduces 0 0.5. 0, now 0 0.75 punch damage per 1% critical. Okay, so basically they're encouraging people to play like um, critical. Yeah, they want just to like uh, encourage people playing Kirzai. Zeri, that's a pretty big one. Let's see. 
Зе ли спак си от дива бит с увернешен хоровра пауарен, дато е should hit her bruiser build harder than her crit builds. Окей. So the uncharged basic attack magic damage is reduced. This doesn't really matter at all. Damage increased is now 500%. So basically it's above by the way this. To like last hits. Charged basic attack is now the slow is actually buffed I would say. Well, duration is nerfed, so I guess it's kind of a nerf, but it's a really small one. It can be a buff in some situations in at this point, like at level five or something. So yeah, I think it's can be honestly a buff at most scenarios than it is a nerf. So yeah, Q fire burst damage is now reduced by one per level, five in total. I don't think it matters at all. This excess attack speed to AD conversation is now increased, so they're encouraging people to build her attack speed. But you do this on the Bruiser build as well, because you get like Trinity Boots and Ronan, which all give you attack speed. So this is not really discouraging like the Bruiser build. Burst Fire Critical Strike now applies, multiply its base damage in addition to its AD ratio. Okay, wow. Well, that's encouraging crit kind of, yeah, but still doesn't really nerf the Bruiser, so why would you go crit, right? The slow here is reduced a bit, which is nice, and the cooldown is increased, which is also nice. I was actually complaining yesterday about this spell being too broken, like, Zeri can just check every 10 seconds the bush on both if there is a jungle there or something. Not the 3 seconds make a big change, but it's nice to see it, right? East Park, so you have 0.5 more cooldown per rank, which ends up being 2 more seconds, which is nice. And now also the cooldown reduction is 1 second instead of 1.5 per champion hit. Okay, that's huge, actually. And Lightning Crash Bones attack speed is 30 at all ranks. Guys, honestly, I think this doesn't hit Zeri at all, by the way. I think Zeri is going to be completely broken still. This is just nothing legit. I thought it's like something, but... Rejuvenation. Oh, let's see this. You can now display your allies item cooldowns in-game by pinging the icon on top scoreboard items display. Oh, that's nice. So you can now ping your teammates items. That's insane, I like it to see, I mean, it's nice. Bank 3 Rejuvenation Beats has recently been cropped as powerful uh, items are touching, however, it offers weaker game a bit too much sustain without tasking. Changing uh, Doron's items, okay. So basically, people are abusing this and they don't want to do it anymore. Riot wants you to build Doron's first, right? So the total cost is increased and also the sale back ratio is decreased by a lot, so basically you cannot do this anymore, right? So that's one thing. Uh, Crystal Embracer is now more expensive but gives more health regen as well. Uh, you also get like double here, here, here as well. Knight's Vow combined cost is um, reduced a bit due to like this, right? Uh, and base health ratio is a bit increased as well. Warmog, Warmog is also like due to this, okay, so basically standard things. System support gold income items, spell sage, okay. Recently, there has been an increase in enchanter sports and soul lanes to use gold to gain money passively while roaming the map rather than playing their lane. When we value creativity in league lanes, we believe that specific strategy goes over the line, what a healthy amount of early game roaming looks like. It also denies their opponent the opportunity to use the game strategies to be released during the lane phase, which is a core part of each game. These issues definitely call for a more robust solution and we're in the process of developing one. In the meantime, we're just using a few systems to minimize the others. In particular, both objectives and CS bounties don't yet account for inconvenient income strategies, which will follow blah 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 blah. So let's see what they did. Gold value bounties, aka CS bounties, are now based on the timer of, of support gold income items on each team, rather than assuming each team has one support gold income item. Okay. Oh, so the system was assuming the whole time there was only one support item instead of like actually seeing how many there are. Oh my god, the rats are so shit, honestly. Objective bounty is enemy bounty starts significantly less likely to lead to... Let me go... Okay, whatever. Receiving diminishing gold. 4 minions per minute, 2 minions. Okay. So, receiving diminishing gold from excessive 4 minions per minute is now 2 minions per minute until 5 minutes, 4 minions per minute thereafter, minion queues. This diminishes gold penalty. This diminishes gold penalty is also most severe during the first 5 minutes of the game. All else unchanged, okay. Wow. Bounty linger period. Now instead of 15 seconds, it's 5 seconds. So that's a pretty huge change, by the way. Related to guidance, we're also structuring the deactivation timers for objective bounties to address some 
extremes in case when objective bounty period ends, the losing team should still be behind. But the lingering duration allowed some cases where a losing team could cut the ahead after claiming multiple bounties in a row. So that's just like the turn off, but not like the starting. So the starting of the bounties is still 15 seconds, but the turn off is now 5, okay? Linger period. 15 seconds, 5 seconds after objective bounties fall off, okay. So when their start is 15, when they fall, it's 5 now. So that's it pretty much. You and cup. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't care about this. We have a system, intentional, finitation, a new system for intentional finitation was successfully launched last month for the enchantment. Let's see that. Personalization. Summoner icon. We can now uh, sort and search your summoner icons when selected one to display. Summoner icon now display information two tips when you hover over them. Wow, that's interesting. Let's see it. Similar level icon display. You can now display summoner icon borders you've, uh, you've learned so far rather than just your highest level one. Your selection will not appear in the game loading screen yet. Okay. Bug fixes. Uh, let's see if there is a Death Dance bug fix. Fix the bug where you would some style receive some death um, You would receive some of the Death Dance in your spread store damage even after turning the fire with champion takedown. Okay, that's an important one. Because this was actually bugged and you were taking some damage. That's a really important one. And we have some skins. Admiral Glass. What? What? What is this champ, by the way? What's that champ, by the way? What is. I have no idea what's the champ, legit. But we have touch on which Admiral Gwask. Koi? Koi da li poznal? Ti je nešto s polom? Ti si obrkali čampajte. The other one is Shock Blade Kiana. Yo! Banger actually. I was complaining for a long time that Kiana has only shit skins. Fuck true damage Kiana by the way. Shit as fuck. This is the real deal. I'm gonna buy this. Shock Blade Kassadin looks nice. Honestly the team fits him insane I think. Like this looks 10 out of 10. Firefly Echo looks like not too good, and uh, this also is a prestige edition skin. I mean, they're putting prestige edition skins every patch at this point, so who cares about them at this point? This, this is Naruto, legit, no? This is Naruto. Oh my god, okay. So basically, that's it for the review, guys. Hope you like it, and see you next week. Okay.